quality Nollywood films, you should link up on Sonny Richie Nolly TV. Sonny Richie Nolly TV. Sonny Richie Nolly TV. She is favored by the gods. And she got the land and bread away for king. She's a special gift from God. She got it all. Oh, she's the future of the kingdom. She's an angel and she is so precious. And she's a, a precious gift from God. Oh. She is so precious, she is a, a precious gift from God. Mm. She's a precious jewel, she's shining like a star, and she's a pretty woman, but they see her as a slave, but they don't know. She's a precious gift from God And her destiny is so great Father, I am sorry, but I don't know why you're looking at me like that Okomado, I am waiting for you to give me a response Regarding what we discussed Why have you not said anything? What did we discuss? We discussed Ijawele becoming your wife Why have you not said anything about that? The body is not in my court. It is completely in her court. And what do you mean by that? Father, I made my terms clear, very clear to everyone until she agrees to that. Then I will know if she is qualified to be the next queen of this kingdom. You sound so irresponsible. Why will it be that a prince in your class will be discussing and talking like a fool? I, we, no, were you serious with that rubbish you said? Of course. That you can only consider her being your wife after sleeping with her? I was serious. And I am still very serious. Father, I am a modern man. In a modern age. There is no way I will get married to a woman I have not experienced. What if after marriage is useless down there, then my, 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 my womanizing attitude and habits will be on the high side? I need someone that can pull me together as a man, as a king. You are a disgrace to royalty. Come on, you are a fool. And you are actually sick in the head. You are the king. You can say anything you feel to anyone. Thank you so much. But I stand with what I've said. It's either she grace my bed or nothing. Why in this world will I end up with a son as useless as this? It will gladden my heart if you end up in this family as my son's wife. I remember I mentioned this to you sometime in the past. I want, I want to see the possibility now and you are the one that will make it work. The queen has already told me, but there is a problem. I know the problem. My son has made a request. That is actually why I called you. I want to plead with you to find a way to oblige him that request of his. Listen, my dear, whatever thing that happens, it will still remain in this family. Please. Is this going to be too difficult for you to do for us? I am sad. I, you 
You just begged me for something I can never do. I know it is it's difficult, uh, but I, it is something that you can do. I I want you to. I want you to think about it. I want you to make up your mind on your own. I I, I am not going to force you into anything, and nobody is going to pressurize you into doing it. I want it to be your own decision that you are doing for this family. My king, my king, I wish, I wish I can do this. Prince Ukomado has no respect for any woman. The reason he made such a request. I beg of you, my king, ask me of any other thing. But this, oh, this I can't do. I want to plead with you not to be rigid on that decision that you just took. I want you to sleep over this. Maybe tomorrow, or maybe the day after tomorrow, you may have changed your mind. I really want you to do this, because I want you to end up in this family as a daughter-in-law. <sighs> Promise me that you will think about this. virginity to a fool who, who will never even know the value. Ah, oh, no, no. It will not happen. I will not give my virginity to a fool. I am actually ashamed of myself. Discussing that with her. I understand, my king. But please, see it as something you've done for him. That useless son of yours who does not even know what he wants in a woman. Do you know what? I don't want to discuss this again. Please. Please. As Okatigwe. Of Umu Meligwe cannot set the whole house on fire because of rats. It does not make sense. Mm -hmm. Yes, Okomado will be the husband of this decent girl who has kept her virginity until now. But that is not the target. The missing staff is. So please, let's not give up. Okay, let me just shock you. That's some decent maiden who has managed to preserve her virginity until now, despite all odds. That maiden is now ready to marry a commander yourself. But that useless son of yours, who can never get any decision right when it comes to women, is insisting that he must have to experience the woman in her before making her his wife. You know, sometimes when I go into my private room to commune with the ancestors of this land, I keep on asking them, why in this world, why will you allow such a useless human to be my son? Why? My king, you know he's not useless. He's very useless. No. Business-wise, he's a money-making machine. In my business that I set up. Fine. I know he has a problem when it comes to women. But please, let us tolerate him. Why? Because he took after you. No, oh, oh, come on, don't, 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 don't give me that. I am not a womanizer. Oh, you were. But don't even try to defend yourself. 
Who come mad took after you on that? What? Was it not where you went to visit one of your countless mistresses at Onono? That you lost the staff? The truth is that you've changed. And the come mad will equally change. I, I, do you know what I mean? When you are done with all these your unfounded acquisitions, you go and tell your chef that what I want to eat this night is okwa. Okwa with bitter leaf, but it's actually bitter. Nakoli. Are you the one who asked them to call me? I am the messenger of the ancestors. Yes, I asked them to call you. Messenger of the ancestors. What has that got to do with me? Something is standing between you and the fulfillment of your destiny. I am here to guide you into your destiny. And your destiny is to marry the prince of Umuri. But the king has refused me marrying Prince Izuna. He said he wants me for his son, Prince Ukomadu. And in all honesty, I can't stand Ukomadu. Besides, I see him like a brother. The king will be broken. He will allow you to marry the one you love when you tell him where to find the missing secret staff. Missing secret staff. I... I've never heard of that. He lost it at the deepest part of Amambala River. He has tried everything possible. He couldn't find it. The ancestors and the departed kings found it and placed it in the secret box through which he communicates with the ancestors. Go to him, direct him to the staff, and he will make an instant statement. of Umu Meligwe Kingdom. You will continue to dictate the peace for your enemies. I love to hear you pray for me. The innocent one who came into the picture and saved them from the brutality of the angry king. The one who transformed into the beauty of all ages. Have you come to say yes to my son? My king, I know where the missing staff is. Oh, goodness. Thanks to the gods of my ancestors. Where is it? I will tell you, but on one condition. What is the condition? Listen, as long as you show me where the missing staff is, whatever condition, you have it. <clears throat> um, my king, you will allow Prince Come, madam, remain a brother to me and marry me off to the Prince of Fumori. Settled. Listen to me. I will allow you to get married to the one you love as long as you show me where the missing staff is. Where is it? <sighs> My king. <sighs> okay, okay. The, the, the secret missing staff. It is in the ancient box 
in your secret room where you commune with the previous kings of Umu Meliwe. How is that possible? I still remember how I lost it. It was far in Amambala River, right in the center of that river. I was in a boat coming back from Onono and I was preventing myself from falling when it slipped off my hand and fell into the deepest conclave of that river. And how are you telling me now it is in the sacred room? My king, the ancient kings found it and put it right back inside the ancient box. Everything out. Mm. I'm so happy. Your Majesty, you look so happy. What is the secret? The king has approved of me getting married to Princess Anna. Really? Yes, Your Majesty. That's nice. Congratulations, my dear. Thank you, Your Majesty. But what happened? The God of my ancestors, the owner of everything we have, I pray, please, make it possible. Let it happen just like she said. Thank you for coming back to me. Beautiful day, indeed. <laughs> My beautiful wife. <laughs> Your Majesty, what is going on? What is going on where? Is there a problem? Ija only just told me that you have approved of her marriage to Prince Izuna. Yes. Is it not just today we discuss about the importance of having her marry our son because of the staff? Well, that discussion has already been overtaken because the staff has been seen. What? How? Listen, on the condition that I allow Prince who come mother our son to remain a brother to her and I allow her get married to the Prince of Umumri. That was her condition that she will show me where the staff is. I gave into that condition. I allowed her to marry the one she loves. And she has shown me where the staff is and I have found it. Oh! <laughs> Your Majesty, <laughs> this is good news. Yes. <laughs> ah, my Chukwo Kikabi, I'm a big priest. Yes. If only, <sighs> if only our son did the right thing, he would have been the one marrying that man. Because indeed, she is a special one from Chukwo Kikabi. Jeez. <laughs> My husband, the most important thing here is that the secret staff has been found. Yes. 
So, how do we celebrate? We are going to celebrate elaborately. And you are going to be in charge of that celebration. So, I am asking you, <laughs> define how it is going to happen. <laughs> Seho looks all bright and excited. What's going on? <laughs> Come on now, don't make me guess now. Eh? What is it? Just tell me. Okay, fine, fine, fine. The king has approved of us getting married. <laughs> You're not joking, are you? I am dead serious. <laughs> Goodness! Why did you just, why did you just tell me over the phone? I wanted to do that in person, just like I'm doing now. So that you can get me to get this real, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come here. Ah. Oh. <laughs> thank you. I should be the one saying thank you. Thank you for accepting me. I mean, from day one. And I'm happy that you're mine now. My heart wanted you from day one. I can't believe I'm going to have you to myself for the rest of my life. So now you're going to make me cry. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, baby. Greetings, my big brother. Is this a kind of joke or what? Why are you calling me big brother? Are you not supposed to be my big brother? The king has approved of it. <laughs> Why are you so uptight? You know what I want? You can give it to me and we will become man and wife. <clears throat> Calling me big brother is delusional. For you know that we are not blood. <laughs> But by the verdict of the king, we are blood. The king swore on the staff of the kings that you are now my brother. So you see, my dear big brother, stop lusting after me, for I am your sister now. <laughs> really? And you think I care about whatever nonsense he swears? <laughs> Stop! 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 Are you supposed to know as a prince that it is an abomination for any man to lust, flirt with another man's wife? Another man's wife? Yes! Another man's wife. She is another man's wife. She belongs to Princess Zuna of Umuri now. I have already made that declaration and that declaration stands. Mother, are you aware that father is now in support of Izuna to marry Jawel? Well, you don't know her value. And I believe her father has given her to someone who will value her forever. Her father? What is this nonsense everyone keeps saying? When did she become his daughter? By royal declaration, she's now a daughter, and you, her brother. Never. Never. No one will take Ijawele from me. Not Prince Izuna. Not even the king. Now that I know how beautiful she is, I will have what I want. <laughs> The same old saying, you will never know the value of what you have until you lose it. Son, you look so excited. Thank what you. is the secret? I am excited. I will, I will tell you that. But before that, let me start by saying that the idea that you brought that we sacrifice a fat ram to Aru Obinago, a sacrifice for what we want, Daddy, that was a fantastic idea. <laughs> 
It has happened, Father. It has happened and I owe it all to you. What can I do without you, Father? A lot of things we do without me. <laughs> so tell me exactly what happened. Ah, okay. What was the effect of the sacrifice? His Royal Highness, Ezo Katiwe, has finally given his consent for me to marry Jawele. Bravo. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, I always knew it. Apalata cannot choose a woman for you and then allow another man to marry that same woman. It's not possible. I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you because even Ija could not tell what happened. You know, she said that she was in a dream. And then she had a revelation. And then when she woke up, she acted upon what she had seen in her dream. And then the king was touched. And then he went ahead and gave her the consent to be with me. You know, even when she was talking, I, I did not need a soothsayer to tell me that that move was made by Arubinago. Certainly. Oh, well, Mori. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm happy. That's it. Yes. And as a council, I called us for this meeting because I want us to discuss something very important concerning the future of this great kingdom. I know you all are wondering why I have not presented my successor, that is to say, the heir to the throne of Umum Medjuba Kingdom. Hmm. Your Majesty, you are very correct, because as a matter of fact, it has been giving us a great concern. I know. Who is it? Um, Olu, here, we confirm to you that uh, we have all resolved not to disturb you on account of that. We know that when time is right, you will name your successor. Yes, we know. Uh, you know you have only one son, and we know him already. Yes, it's okay. I agree with you that I have only one son, and you know him already. Mm -hmm. uh, but you will equally agree with me that uh, there must be an occasion where that son of mine, who is known by all, must be presented as the heir to the throne in an occasion where he is going to be exposed to the ritual of Isikalakane Bugiri. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, your Majesty, automatically what you are saying is that your son, Prince Okomadu, is ready to be presented. Exactly. In that case, we are ready. We are. <laughs> so what will it be? Well, I am looking at the next day, Kemake Day. No. Next day, Kemake Day. That's <laughs> wonderful. Your Majesty, that's okay by us. Oh, man. And our prayer is that may Chukuoki Kabia might spare our lives to them. I yes. continue to protect him. Yes. 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 Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. What is it? Listen, Ukomadu, you cannot do that which you have planned. I am now your sister. Shut up! Do you spare me that useless tale of being my sister? You stupid! You are not my sister! And if I can't have you, no one will! Now go! <laughs> What? I see you. You! I will get you. Calm down. I hope you're not what? It's okay. Thank God you shouted. I hate your voice. It's okay. Calm down. What is wrong with you? sense of sanity completely? Mona, there is nothing like losing any sanity here. This maiden that grew up under my nose is mine. It is inconceivable for anyone to suddenly baptize her with one useless declaration and tell me that she has become my sister. 
Mother, she is not my sister. And tonight, tonight, Mata Ife, Madoka see her tonight. Wait, 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 please. Tell me, is this not the same maiden you rejected? The same maiden you called names and banned from getting anywhere around your things. Well, that was then. I know better now. I already vacated my original position. Mother, I am the prince in this palace. In this very palace, I am the prince and she is mine. Now listen. I will tell you this for the last time. Stop this madness before it consumes you. It will not consume me. I must have my way. Mother, I must have my way. After my father, I am the next authority, so I must have my way. Now that the king has given his consent, are you not going to come right away and take me with you? I am scared of this place. And so what happened? The prince here is angry that he's lost me. He's made it crystal clear that he wants to have me first. He wants to wake me. Are you scared? Shouldn't be. You're in a palace, darling. You are in a palace. And there is no way Prince Okomade would be thinking of carrying out a very dirty act like that in the palace. Nah, relax, okay? He's just talking tough. And, and listen, Izuna, you don't have an idea the useless prince we are up against. Do you know he smuggles some women into the palace? I even heard he sleeps with call girls. Listen, you have to come right away before this imbecile defiles me. Okay, Jawele, I know that you might not understand this, but um, you're bigger than you think you are. Yes. The force is protecting you. Bigger than everyone you have in that palace. And those forces will not allow some imbecile to defile you. So why the delay? I thought now that we've gotten the approval of the king, you'll be here with your people. Uh, yes, um, my father and your king spoke and then he made it known to us that all is well. As soon as he's done with the ritual of presenting his son as a crown prince and next to the throne, uh, we can have our wedding ceremony. I understand, I, I totally do. But you just have to come and take me with you, please. You know, honesty, I pity the kingdom who come out of rule. Because he's a bully. My love, let's talk about ourselves. Apart from you feeling harassed, uh, talk to me. What's happening with you? As for me, I miss you. How about you?